Happy New Year, it's January, and if you didn't know that because you haven't looked at the calendar yet, then you would definitely know that if you've turned on the TV and you've seen all of the adverts about um, joining a slim slimming club, or you've scrolled through social media and you've seen that somebody's offering you a juice diet, a shake diet, uh, a cabbage soup diet, a detox, a cleanse, it's absolutely baffling. So I'm Jacqueline Dunn from Mind Body Detox, and I am going to answer a few questions now that I'm often asked in January. So the first question that I get asked is, why do we always have to make these new starts in January? So the obvious answer is, so there's two things. First of all, January is the first month of the year and that brings a whole world of opportunities. We're turning over a new leaf, it's a fresh start. Um, we've just eaten ourselves into oblivion for the last two weeks over the Christmas period um, and now is a good time to start afresh and start to implement some healthy changes. My honest answer is I don't actually know why we have to wait to January to start a new healthier lifestyle. To me that's crazy because every day is a new opportunity. So don't get bogged down with the fact if you haven't started yet, it, it's too late. It's never too late, every day is a new opportunity to start fresh. So the second question I'm always asked is all these different types of diets, what one's going to suit me? Um, and like I said, right now in January, we are being bombarded with all these different quick fixes that I would call them. So, you know, shakes, smoothies, spent lots of money on supplements, um, lots of crazy diets. And my biggest, biggest piece of advice here is only ever choose a plan or a program that you can see yourself following for the foreseeable future. It has to be sustainable. There's no quick fixes. There's no need to spend lots of money on and supplements because it's not sustainable. You can't continue to do that. You can't continue to live on shakes. You can't continue to live on juices. And you can't continue to drink cabbage soup for the rest of your life. When you look at a program and it's something that you're only going to do in the short term, then that's going to bring short term fixes. If you want to make long-term changes, which I suggest is the best possible way, then always start as you mean to go on and start by implementing a program or a plan that you can follow for the foreseeable future. Because I don't like the word diet because diet is a short-term goal. This is a lifestyle. This is about adapting and making changes that suit you forevermore. So when you're choosing a plan or a program to suit you, then make sure that you can see yourself doing this for the foreseeable future. That is the biggest thing. The third and final question that I get asked quite a lot is what do you think is the difference between the people that succeed and the people that fail with their goals that they've set? So the only answer here, which I obviously I'm going to say as a hypnotherapist, but I honestly believe the real and true answer is mindset. Mindset is massive because how you think and how you feel has absolutely everything to do with how you look and what your health is like absolutely everything. So if you are going into this with first of all a short term goal, so you're thinking I just need to get into that dress by the time it's March because March is my birthday, then guess what's going to happen? March is going to come, you probably would have got into your dress but then what's going to happen afterwards? Because in your mind you've told yourself that that was a short term goal, you've met it and now you're done. We see this quite a lot with people going on holiday, I often get clients saying I just want to look good on the beach, just want to get into a bikini and feel confident and that's in my mind that's a short term goal a short-term mindset and we need to change this we need to change this for self-belief and self-worth that regardless of what your goal is it's an ongoing goal it's something that you can keep working towards regardless of whether you're going on holiday or have a birthday or want to be a particular dress size because you are worthy to continue on this journey of self-love and self-healing um, and I think lots of people are also quite scared of stepping out of their comfort zone. So some people um, often say to me, you know, I've never been in the gym. I'm frightened to get, go in the gym. I don't know what I'm going to see when I get in there because will people look at me? Will people stare at me? I don't really know what I'm doing. I don't know how to cook this food. I've always eaten a certain way. And sometimes lots of people are so scared of these new changes that they just stay inside their comfort zone. But that's obviously not where the magic happens. It's not where the change happens. So sometimes it's the fear of just staying stepping outside of the comfort zone. So mindset is absolutely huge. It's the reason that um, whenever we do a plan, just like in our book, Mind Body Miracle, there are tools to change the mind and to change the body to help implement positive changes in both areas. 
the mind and the body because we are a system of systems it's synergetically that we work the mind and the body work together and therefore we must treat them both together to make long-term changes um, so they are my biggest tips for January they're my biggest tips for choosing a program that suits you I hope you found it useful I hope you find something that will be sustainable for you for the ongoing future take a look at the mind body detox um, website www.mindbodydetox.co.uk and you can see the programs that we offer and uh, good luck and happy new year I hope you achieve all of your goals